Hello and welcome to server-side programming with PHP and MySQL. My name is Jeff LaBeouf and in this first video I will introduce the technologies that we will use in the series and uh, configure our development environment. So first as you can see on my screen I have the XAMPP control panel uh, up and running. We'll be using XAMPP as our test server. This is a free download from apachefriends.org and I recommend using it if you're just learning uh, the basics of PHP programming. PHP is a server-side uh, language, which means you can create websites with it, but they require a server to process the scripts. And that's one reason why XAMPP is a great resource. In addition to XAMPP, we'll be using Dreamweaver. So of course you can write code in Notepad or Notepad++ or a number of other resources like TextPad. Um, and I'm sure there's several others out there. But Dreamweaver CS5 is a very handy tool and this is what we'll be using in this series. So once you've installed XAMPP, you can uh, view its home page by typing, opening your web browser and typing localhost. So localhost will bring you to your home page for the XAMPP service. Uh, we'll also be using PHP My Admin. This is installed with the XAMPP uh, utility and this provides an interface for our database database of course will be MySQL. Again that product is installed as part of XAMPP. So to get started let's configure our development environment. The first thing we are going to do after we've installed XAMPP and turned on the services is configure Dreamweaver to use XAMPP as a test server. So in Dreamweaver, we have our Files menu. Now this basic feature is critical. If you're new to Dreamweaver, uh, you want to configure this for each site um, that you create. So under Files, I have one site that I've already created. This is the email application that we will uh, build in our first project. But for this configuration video, we're going to create a test site. Your websites are stored in your C drive or your primary hard drive in the XAMPP folder and there is a fo folder in here called htdocs. This contains your root pages or your, your uh, local roots for your websites. Okay, So I have already gone ahead and created a folder called test and in that test I have a couple of files here. In Dreamweaver, we will choose Manage Sites and create a new site. I'll call the site Test, and I will browse to the local site folder. And select it. Now we have our site saved. If I press Save, done. The file menu displays all of the resources that are uh, located inside our site's local root folder. Now to configure the PHP testing server uh, in Dreamweaver, we need to go back into this uh, site. So we're going to choose Manage Sites and Edit. So in CS5 we have the basic site options, which is what we just did and servers. Right now there are no servers configured. We'll check this little plus sign to add a new server. And we can call this whatever we want, but I'm going to call it XAMPP. And we'll connect using the local network, because this is all on my machine. And we need to select the folder. So again, I'm going to choose the site folder. And our URL. 
which is localhost slash test. That is the URL for our website right now. Okay, this is a testing site. Okay, now there's one more step. I need to go back in here and choose advanced. And under the testing server, we need to select the technology we're using, which is PHP. And save. Okay, and done. Okay, so the reason why we went ahead and configured the files menu and this testing server is so that we can work more efficiently in Dreamweaver. If I open my index page, which is something I've previously written, I can see the code on the left hand side and a preview in what's called design mode on the right hand side. And of course, you can rearrange your windows uh, or your, your workspace in Dreamweaver to accommodate a horizontal view. It could be split screen vertically like this, or you can adjust these palettes any way you wish. Let's review the basic structure of our web page here. We have a doc type. This refers to the standard of HTML that we're using. This is an HTML5 doc type. Then we have the HTML tag, which opens here and closes at the bottom. Inside that, we have our HTML code. So every HTML document needs a head and a body. We call this the skeleton. One head and one body. Now the head contains information in about your website. So for example, we have a meta tag here and the title. Now the title is not what you see on screen. It's in the head. So the title tag is actually, that information will, will be displayed on screen, but it will be in the, the uh, browser tab, uh, not on the, in the browser page or the browser body. Anything that's going to actually be displayed in the, the, the web page should be inside your body tags. And here we just have an H1 for test. Now I could go to my website, I mean my Internet Explorer, and type that in. So HTTP colon localhost slash test. And that of course loads our page. However, we can preview it directly from Dreamweaver by clicking the preview button and selecting whatever browser browsers are available. I currently have Internet Explorer installed. And we can see that it loads our home page and it shows test. Again, the title is displayed in the tab, not on the page. What we have here on the page is the top level heading or H1. And that is typically what's sometimes called the title of our page. Um, if you were writing a paper, you might put the title of the paper at the top of your, your Word document. But in web development, we call this the top level heading or the main heading. Okay, so the connection script is also included in the site, but we will be covering that in the next video. So for now, uh, that concludes our video series on configuring Dreamweaver uh, with XAMP. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.